Rescue Kitty, a special cat, a big surprise, a happy ending. By Brenda Fiorini, illustrated by Nathan Beamlander. On a warm summer night, right outside my back door, shadows passed, green eyes flashed, then I saw them no more. Had I seen a red fox, an opossum, an owl? Maybe something nocturnal was out on the prowl. So I ran to the bushes and yanked them apart. But whatever it was, shot off like a dart. Mom called from the house, for I knew it was late. The mystery creature would just have to wait. When the sun poked its head on the very next day, I flew out of bed to run outside and play. I remembered the eyes, so I gazed all around. Sure enough, on the woodpile, a cat hunkered down. I gasped, then I froze. We locked eyes and I stared. I could see she was feeling uneasy and scared. I called, here, kitty, kitty. But with one graceful push, she leaped from her perch and was lost in the bush. I hunted and hunted. No cat was in sight. I hoped she'd come back, and I thought she just might. She surprised me again, curled up on the mat. Oh, I had to tell Mom about Calico Cat. Mom said, this cat is frail. She is hungry and thin. I'm not sure where she came from or where she has been, but it's time someone cared for she needs a good meal. With those scratches and cuts, she could use time to heal. So we filled up a pan with fresh milk and chow. After gulping it down, she sang friendly meows. We invited her in, but she lingered outside. We wondered if Callie had something to hide. In the late afternoon, winds blew in from the west. Raindrops pelted the ground. Callie acted distressed. As she paced on the porch, she peered over the wall, reaching down with her paw toward what looked like a ball. Branches twisted and bent. Oak trees whipped overhead. As the dark sky flashed white, my heart filled with dread. Tiny kittens! I saw them! With shrill, desperate cries, they clung to each other beneath stormy skies. Mom! I yelled, pointing at kittens below. Callie's trying to save them! Let's help her! Let's go! So we put on our coats, down the porch steps we flew, and we battled the storm, scooping kittens up, too. Then we hurried inside, holding all of them tight. Callie trotted behind us, her kittens in sight. She counted each baby, now safe from all harm, then frantically ran to the door in alarm. Callie leaped off the porch, swiftly searching around beneath boxwoods and hostas, and finally found one kitten we'd left all alone in the rain. He was stuck in a thorn bush and cried out in pain. We carefully freed him and calmed him down, too. Soon he settled right in with the rest of his crew. Callie's family at last, safe and sound, not a peep, bellies full, cozied up, snug and warm, fast asleep. The weeks flew by quickly. The kittens had grown. Time to visit the vet. Time to find them new homes. Callie saw the vet, too, for a checkup and spay. Her new home was with me and forever she'd stay. <laughs>